Okay, hello and welcome to TechSlice. Today we'll, I'll show you how to install Peppermint OS. But first, we'll just take a look at the website. So if we just minimize this. Um, as you can see, their website, um, it's peppermintos.com. Um, you can download their 2-bit, 64-bit purchase USB user's guide. Um, they got some information about it. Um, community news, corporate news, um, but I'll tell you what it says here. Built for speed, lightweight, stable, and long-term support. So, yeah, I'm going to show you how to um, install it. If you want to run it in a virtual machine or directly on to your computer, whatever. So, um, you will boot it up, um, just go boot into live, it should say something like that. Live mode, um, then we can double click on install Peppermint OS, Peppermint 6. Um, English is our language, you can change it if you want. Now this is pretty much a standard Linux installer, so if you've installed any other, other Linux before, it's pretty much the same. So now we'll, we won't install those at the moment, go continue. Um, you can erase disk and install Peppermint OS. You can um, you can run Windows and Peppermint OS side by side, OS X, whatever, whatever you want. So um, we'll just go install now. Um, it will tell you what changes it's doing to the disk. We'll go continue. Um, yep, so then time zone, that's the first link that actually knows my time zone. Um, choose your keyboard layout. Um, got a fair bit actually. Um, you can test your keyboard. Um, continue on that and then put in some of your details. Um, um, so yeah, um, put in some of your details, for this I'll go log in automatically, you can encrypt to your home folder if you want, um, we'll click continue and now it should get underway and installing, so I'm going to give you Nice time lapse. Okay, so now it has finished um, installing, so we'll restart now. Now, um, I forgot to say a few things before I started. This operating system is actually quite good because not being lightweight, no, not just being lightweight, that it can it can mix between um, a cloud operate cloud operating system and sort of like a normal. Um, operating system that uses everything on the hard drive so you can choose what you want up in the cloud what you want actually on your desktop so it's really smart actually um so say if you have like a sl okay sorry for that transition over to a bad mic um ran out of storage um so yeah if you have a bot um old laptop that um that um, doesn't, it's not as fast, or you have, say, even a new laptop that's based 
one, you can use this or even some other links. Brain system to make it fast again. So, we now boot in and we get low resolution. So let's just quickly boot it up. Um, boot up monitor settings and let's see what happens when we go auto. Nothing. Okay. Um, so we'll go... A lot of these don't have 1920 by 1080 for some reason. I think it's um, VMware, but who knows. So, um, yeah, that's how you install it. One interesting fact that I found is, um, my soft data, is it uses Chromium. Now, I'm pretty sure, don't correct me on this, but I'm pretty sure it uses <clears throat> a lot more RAM than on the browsers, even though it's quicker. So, um, if your computer doesn't have a lot of RAM, I'd like to see how that goes, but I might have a, um, a review coming up with Hackney OS in the future, but that's how you install it, it's pretty easy. So guys, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.